Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of RimWorld. In the last episode, the lightning started striking and there are a couple of fires and things dotted around. Ooh. What's up, Steven? What are you fleeing from? Oh, right. Come out here. Basically, he screwed up his hunting and then decided to run scared. Right, undraft you. You're bleeding a little bit. You've been scratched. You're fine. Yeah, go and rest. Good job. So we're hunting everything because uh, we've been neglecting our um, leather supplies, uh, which means tailoring hasn't been happening. In fact, you know what, Ark? Can you prioritise butchering for us, please? Ah, oh, there's another one as well. Alright, we'll draft you. Can I draft you now? Which means that um, we don't have the trousers made that we wanted. There's a couple of things that I'm concerned about, about our colony. Um, first of all, um, is replacing damaged items. Uh, can we get you to replace the broken component in that? Because we do need this to be nice and cold in here. Um, we need steel. What uh, target temperature minus seven? So we can build another cooler here because that was actually what blew up last time, and I've just realised that. Um, Ark, stop starving. Uh, yeah, eat eat a meal. And I just wanted us to to get some butchery done. I didn't want to. You're milking the dromedary. We can. We can milk the drum. Cool. Milking the camels. Apparently that's the thing. What are you doing now? Oh, you're going out to tame the muffler. That's fine. Yeah, it is pretty hot in here, which is problematic. Because that cool has been off for a while. Hopefully the temperature will drop a bit. Really, we uh, what we need is we need more steel so that we can get another cooler going in here. I'm... I'm even tempted to do a cooler going this way and then open up that back wall there. Because we can get it in place, uh, we can prioritise it. And then it won't, yeah. Because I, I don't want to open this to the outside world as we're moving into summer. That's, that's what it comes down to. You know what, we'll, we'll leave it until we've got a bit more steel. Where is Dez? You're digging at steel, perfect. So there is actually it, probably enough steel here for us to get one going. So let's, let's try this. Takes 90 steel, yep, yeah, that's gonna be fine. We'll spin that around, put it in like that. And Haxton. Prioritize the cooler. Oh, no. Ah, oh, you got scratched and I didn't treat it. So you've got a minor infection. That's fine. We'll get that sorted. But uh, we do need this cooler building sooner rather than later.
And we finished our electric smelting. Let's pop to the research screen. So I said we were going to go for cremation. Let's get that going. That's going to allow us to tidy things up a lot faster and a lot better. I do wish that um, people hauled items first and then did the deconstruction. Yeah, those meals are rotting away because it is too hot in there. This could actually cost us quite a lot of our relevant supplies. Still, we'll get this done and then uh, we'll let Haxton rest. Oh my god, can you imagine how bad it would be if we got hit by a heat wave at the moment? Haxton, what? Stephen, why are you annoyed? Oh, you're still injured. And you're just generally a bit depressive. Haxton, I completely understand. Urgently hungry. Once you're done with this, you can eat. Okay? This is necessary. Yeah, minus nine, that's fine. So Haxton is obviously really hungry. Uh, Haxton needs treatment. Someone gonna jump on this? Is it Latchy? Yeah, good. So I think we've uh, we've just about got through that. Yeah, this room is getting much cooler. With the doors opening all the time, though, it's um, it's not gonna be brilliant, but it is better than it was. Hmm. Maybe we actually need a third cooler here. How warm is it outside? 36 degrees. Alright, we'll get another cooler outside. Uh, sorry, another cooler in here. Who else was good at construction? You're good. You're not brilliant. Yeah, I mean, Haxton is the best, but Stephen will do. So Stephen, work on this. There we go. And indoor, it should rapidly cool down. Yeah, there we go. Get it back down to the temperature that we want. Ooh, a Manhunter pack of... Manhunter dromedaries. That's kind of funny. Kind of funny. Alright, uh, let's... Wait and see how this goes. We may need to draft people, but uh, we'll draft you two down here. And we'll be ready to run away. How healthy is this thing? Alright, come back in, guys. And we'll get you to wait over here by the entrance. And one of them is going to bleed to death, at least. Yeah, four degrees. Much, much better.
Right, if we could get it a little bit cooler, it would be better, but... Uh, some of these spoil pretty damn quickly. Yeah, maybe we should get another cooler just to make sure that this room stays ultra, ultra cold. So those dromedaries are coming around. Pan, we're going to draft you as well. You can come down here. Hammer, we'll draft you. You can come down here. Kit, drafting. Join the line. Who would have thought we would be trying to defend the colony from manhunter dromedaries? I think it must be that they're jealous. I reckon that's what it is. Okay. Look at this defensive line. Oh my god, is that friendly fire? Oh no, it's a bruise from the dromedary itself. Man, these things are nasty. Okay, undraft everyone. The various bruised and cracked people can uh, go rest up. So this is now minus three inside. Much better. Once people stop going in and out. Oh, Haxton. Oh, wow. that's uh, That's got to extreme. Okay. Uh, yeah. We're going to have to definitely keep on that. How's the immunity doing, is the question. And is the immunity going to outrun the infection? It's because we forced him to do that. That was a mistake. I should have got Steven to do it. Kit is our medic, so we'll get Kit to do the tending in just a moment. We might get lucky, we might be able to outrun it. It will be quite tight though. So, two, two. Very nearly there. Okay, knees tending now. Kit. You don't need anything tending to. You'll be fine. Oh my god. So, <laughs> the dromedaries. Are they downed? They're not, uh... They're not all dead. Ninety-two percent. That is a pretty good tending, I'd say. And summer has begun. Yeah, I'm pretty certain we're going to get another cooler on that. It is ticking up a little bit faster. Man, that infection, 85% pain.
I think we're just going to get immunity there. It is going to be really tight, as I said, though. And we are going to have to sit on this and babysit Haxton. So at this point, when it's uh, in extreme, there is a chance that Haxton can just die. Our immunity is doing slightly better. And all this from fighting a boar. Basically, it's the Baratheon death. Come on, develop an immunity. Developed an immunity. That. That should be fine. It's not good, but it should be fine. Okay, so Stephen, let's get you doing another cooler on this. If it's summer, we want... Actually, no, we could, um, we could do a cooler down here because it is still 28 degrees. We can cool this area down Actually, you know what we can drop all the heaters to 18 degrees I think if we do a cooler here to keep the bedrooms cool and a cooler here. That's not exactly an ideal place. How are we doing for steel? We've got 70 steel, but those definitely going to be more dotted around the map. So yeah, let's let's get a cooler going in here for the workshop. And then we can actually get a vent going through here. And another vent up that way. We'll get a cooler in here. And we also need a heater in here. Now I think about it. So Stephen, if you'd be so kind as to prioritise that one first. To think at the start of this, we were trying to get more leather. So, Haxton, how are you feeling? Yes. Deal in a fair bit of pain. But this should vanish now that you've got an immunity. You see, it's uh, gradually ticking itself down. How's the temperature in here? Still minus two, good. Uh, Stephen, could you actually work on that for me, please? Thank you. I know you like hunting. I know we got, we gave you a gun because you're really good at it, but that's kind of not what we need at the moment. not have the right materials? Oh, you still need a little bit more... Still need a little bit more steel. So we'll check it periodically. Having this open like that is not a problem. And I bet... Cool. We can build a crematorium for vaporizing unwanted corpses. Uh, let's actually pause while we're on this screen. So, options for the future. Microelectronics will lead us into a hell of a lot of other things, including gun turrets. I think that is the way that we need to go. Now, if I go to our production, we have the electric smelter, um, which is going to be worth us building, I think, in here. 
I spin that around, we can put that there. Counts as being outdoors because that's open and that's open, but I don't mind that at the moment. Um, for, is it going to be a miscellaneous? No. I, uh. That's interesting. Well, we might have to do that at some point. Where would the crematorium be? It's not going to be in temperature. Not in general furniture, not in power, although we can do wind turbines, which is something I had forgotten about. I think maybe it is actually going to be that... Um, Sculptors, butchers, hand, blah, blah, blah. Ah, right there. I'm completely ignoring it. Okay, so the electric crematorium, we're actually going to have this outside down here. It does need a little bit of steel. That's fine. Right, Stephen, do we have any more steel yet? No, we don't. Where is Dez? Dez is working on steel at the moment. Which is just what we need. Right. Steven. Now you can work on it. Of course all this steel uh, does get taken up by the armor vest and everything else that we're making. But. You know we can. Uh, by prioritizing work carefully we can make sure that the things that we want get done. And I think, despite minor tragedies and accidents and injuries, this is going all right still. That's minus seven degrees. This in here, we're going to drop down to... No, not that. Let's tell it to be 18 degrees. There we go. Seeing as it's connect, uh, connected up nicely. And... Actually, let's have a look at power. So that's actually drawing from this secondary grid. Uh, we want to reconnect it. There we go. So it's actually coming from this bit here. Oh no, food poisoning. That could be from everything being warm. Or all the blood everywhere. We're not exactly paying that much attention to all the cleaning that's going on, and we don't have our best cooks going in either. But we do what we can. Where is Ark, actually? Ark's butchering good. That's what we need. We need all that leather being taken care of. Clean up first, and then make your food. Otherwise you're going to get all of us killed. <laughs> cool, that's a lot more comfortable in there. We could do another cooler um, down here for the same reason, but I'm going to get a vent going between these first. Uh, so... That's in here we'll unforbid the dromedary that died outside so that can be hauled in for leather as well And we may actually be able to make some trousers for poor Steven, who's still running around with, uh, yeah, pretty not cool things. Shoddy pants, I think it is, that he's got. A local raccoon has gone mad. It looks like it's going to come... Wait, where did it go? There it is. Is it just running around the outside a little bit? 
That's fine. We can draft someone at the entrance. That's not the way to go into your bedroom. We've done this all wrong. Right. Well, undraft you. You're going to need tending so you don't get an infection. Rest until healed and we'll get Haxton to come and heal you because you're our actual proper medic. So, sorry Haxton, wake up. Need you on medic duty. There we go. It's all going to be fine, he says. Now for this, what's it need? It doesn't actually have anything in there yet. Once Steven's awake, we'll get that prioritised. So we can start getting a bit more of a battery bank over the here done. As soon as you're done relaxing socially, Stephen. It's important that everyone gets their joy. <laughs> I like how he does his joy thing and then he does his meal as a work job. Yeah, we need more steel before we can actually prioritise that. Kid is back on her feet. That's good. Oh, and the cat's got food poisoning. Poor Yolanda. That means there's going to be cat vomit everywhere. Oh my god, that's so gross. Um, you know what, Des? I think we're okay for food. Could you prioritize the steel? Because that is actually going to be better for us. For the number of things that we've got queued up that need steel, that's definitely going to be the right thing to do. And some trousers are coming in. Hey, Steven. You could... Oh, no, a heat wave. I am quite glad that we have a cooler in here. But heat waves are very, very, very dangerous. People are potentially going to get heat stroke all over. I mean, I'm tempted to actually draft them and stand them 40 degrees C outside. Stand them in the cooler. Wow. It's 45 outside, it's 7 degrees inside. We potentially gonna lose a lot of food. All right. Draft everyone. Except for Ark, who's on a smoke leaf binge. So it's thirty-one degrees down here. Forty-one down here. Forty-three. Alright, weird arc is potentially gonna get heat stroke just because arc's running around. 40 degrees C at night, that is that is so not cool. Alright. I'm going to undraft everyone so you can eat. But I'm going to keep checking on their health. Okay.
Temperatures dropped to 36 degrees. It's only been going 11, 12 hours. The food is going to be fine for now. But if it gets much, much hotter, then we could potentially lose a lot of food. Still, losing a lot of food is not going to be that much of an issue compared to losing a lot of people. That's what I would really worry about. I just realized with that um, vent not being done, when these guys are getting some loving, Kit's in the same room. Okay. A little bit of heat stroke doesn't matter too much. But it is rapidly getting worse. So everyone, draft in here. The animals are probably going to get heat stroke and die. Maybe they're better at temperature regulation than we are. Twenty-eight degrees in there, twenty-eight degrees in there, twenty-two there, forty-two outside. Alright, I think we can undraft you for a moment. So you can do some things. And then we'll redraft in a moment. Depressive, very hot, feeling terrible, joy deprived, wearing worn out stuff. Yeah, that's fine. What are you actually doing? You're hunting a turkey. Wait, our meals are rotting away? Is it... It's nine degrees inside. It doesn't help that they're opening the door to the outside. That really isn't helping us at all. Initial heat stroke. That's from uh, obviously working in the heat. Steven's got initial heat stroke as well. Alright, let's draft and reposition in here. You're not going to be massively happy, but at the same time, you're not going to die. Thirteen degrees inside, fifty degrees outside. I'm really sorry. It's not great. But I don't want you to die in the heat. And there's a strong chance you're going to die in the heat. Alright, you know what? Everyone... Copy, paste, 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 paste. Joy all round. That's what we're doing. We're doing joy all round. We'll undraft you. You can do whatever you want. Just, you know, don't die of heat stroke is really what it comes down to. Hmm. 
A little bit of heat stroke, that's not too bad. That's worse. That's not too bad. You're okay. What's the temperature like in these rooms? 45 degrees, yeah, that's not, not fun at all. Combat supplies, cool. We can sell them some of those weapons. If anyone gets up to 10%, then we're gonna have to move them through. So Lachi and Dez are the most no okay really sorry guys you gotta cool off it will come down quickly enough all right let's just get everyone drafted and in for now I think they would much rather be awake and tired and cool than I mean, with it being minus four degrees actually that's pretty good uh, let's very very quickly yeah Lachi is the one that we want to do the trading we've got Lachi to just do this okay so what can we buy and sell they've got a decent amount of money actually uh, we're going to sell all the bad weapons. Can't do any of the dead man's clothing. Oh, we can sell them a wooden sculpture. We can sell them the poor armor vest. That's actually quite reasonable. We'll sell frag grenades and the molotovs because those are not a good idea to keep around. I've said that many times before and I will keep saying it. I sell each of these. Yeah, we'll basically sell everything. So what have they got that is good that we might want? A superior armor vest. That's going to save us making one. Man, these helmets are expensive. We'll take a simple helmet. Poor shield belt is probably worth it, actually. Although, actually, no, that's going to cost all more money than we've got. I didn't quite see how much that was. Heavy SMG. You can swap that over for someone's pistol. Uh, yeah, that's actually taking all our money. All right, we'll accept that. Haxton, you can get that heavy SMG when... We figure out where it is. Is that it? There it is. Okay. So, for health. No heat stroke all round. Rest up, guys, as much as you can before the temperature really hits. And these guys could actually end up falling over if they get heat stroke. We could potentially loot them. You know, obviously helping them get back to uh, to their colonies intact, but uh, it would be kind of dangerous for them. The heat wave is over. Thank God for that. All right, we're going to have a day of joy so that everyone can get happier again. Just to make sure that our moods are back intact. The good thing about having everyone assigned to Joy is some people do end up working because they actually enjoy it. So we'll get people wandering around and just performing little menial tasks.
Let's get another couple of hundred of these, seeing as we're going to have smoke leak joints. So the generator has broken down. That's all right. We can get that one fixed up. We are down to 19 components, though. And, all right, microelectronics has finished. Um, so this is going to allow us a whole bunch of potential things. Um, we're going to go for gun turrets, first of all. But let's have a quick look and see if there's anything specifically that we can make here. A high-tech research bench. What's that actually going to take? That's going to take 250 steel. I'm going to wait until we have the steel before we actually do that. Um, but that will make things a lot better for Kit on the research front. Right, they are leaving. That's absolutely fine. Steven, why are you still... Oh, it's a t-shirt this time that's... Uh... Not good. Well, it won't be long until we've got some t-shirts being made. You know, I can actually move that up. By changing the priorities, of course, they uh, they switch over what they're doing. Um, but the unfinished parts, they just end up lying around. Uh, Hammer, could you clean the area before you do that? Thanks. Uh, Steven, if you could get rid of all the blood in the butcher shop, that would be ace. Just so the place doesn't look quite so butt ugly. And more of our roads being finished off as well. That's very nice. You're still working despite the power having having run out. It's kind of funny. So steel is our biggest issue at the moment. Uh, steel and cleaning, I'd say. Um, ready for tomorrow. Let's get our restrictions back in that seems reasonable copy paste 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 and people are pretty much back to normal 144 meals, we still need a hell of a lot more, but we've got plenty of supplies. And with enough people doing various crafting and uh, production, I don't think that's going to be a problem for us. Mmm, pigskin t-shirts. That's exactly what our colonists want to be wearing. Oh yeah. Right, so let's expand this stockpile so it fills up the entire room properly. We've got just enough steel to work on the vent. That's that ticked off. And then the uh, electric crematorium, I think, is the next on the list to be done. The electric smelter will be quite nice. That will allow us to take all those steel slag chunks that we see dotted around all over the place. Um, there they are. get them melted down oh and we finally got enough cloth for the uh, for the billiards table well hurrah for that <laughs> needs clear space and all oh, right 
Can we reinstall this? I see. So it didn't used to actually demonstrate that, but we can move it one space and that'll be fine. There we go. I'm sure they'll just move the chairs out of the way as and when they need to. And that, I think, is probably a good point for us to finish that episode there. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, this has, of course, been RimWorld. It's a really, really fun crash-landed colony simulator. And uh, I, for one, am thoroughly enjoying it. Certainly getting to grips with... Uh, well, I suppose we're kind of moving into the mid-game. Um, I am going to be doing more, so uh, join me next time. And uh, we'll see if we can get through whatever next random event the game throws at us. I'll see you soon.